Deep Dive with David Stendhal, where we trade without ego, no emotion, no greed, no opinion. Before we begin tonight's video blog, please read over our trading disclaimer, and remember to trade smart and accept the reality that trading futures is risky. This presentation does not provide buy-sell recommendations, and our information is strictly provided for educational purposes only. As always, trade at your own risk and analysis. Hey, it's David Stan with tonight's Deep Dive. I thought I'd take a look at uh, S&P, given this huge sell-off that we had here today. The uh, ETF on the long side is SPY. Bear with me on this one because there's a lot of material I want to cover here tonight, and I think you'll find it uh, helpful. So uh, here's what we have with the trends. Uh, it's a mixed bag here. I think it's going to take a little while for the uh, intermediate and the longer term to really digest the uh, the movement that we had here uh, uh, today. As uh, CSR right now, there's going to be any type of an adjustment. The technical rating coming in today was positive, and there was a number of things that had been popping up that were positive on the market, but uh, are not showing up right now. So the market is oversold, obviously, but a lot of these indicators are looking mostly for the a pivot low you know so that a rebound you know really being able to see that the market along with these momentum indicators are really going to start to uh, to reverse course so i'm sure we'll start to see some of that tomorrow if we take a look at the uh, the deep dive patterns these uh, pro alerts i'm going to be honest and just kind of show you the good and the bad associated with some of the things we look at if we look at the russell and the s p 500 you'll see as of two days ago two trading days ago one trading day ago two trading days ago today and two trading days ago that there were a lot of lows that were popping up and the only one that's really coming to play today with the sell-off is the days kind of a dazed uh, huge sell-off and it usually uh, turns into uh, the beginnings of a reversal but the other ones did trigger before this sell-off and so obviously they were incorrect in their assessment and a lot of that is due in part to uh, the fact that we were meandering in around the 50-day moving average We'll just take a look at the uh, the S and P and really kind of show you what was taking place. Here is the uh, the 50-day moving average. I know it's simplistic, but it is an important one. This yellow line here. These are daily bars for the S and P 500. The fact is that we did not hold there, but we had a couple of uh, signals in both the S and P and the Russell that were kind of telling us that we thought that there'd be a low to the market. Well, that obviously did not take place. Lo and behold, where do we come today? We come down to the the 200 day moving average. So you can see that we're oversold here and you can see that a lot of our other indicators are in negative territory now but they're not necessarily in extreme uh, oversold territory. Now obviously the the elastic level is but some of the other ones are not as much. So this bodes well for the opportunity to see how the market uh, reacts to that of the the 200 day moving average and this huge sell off this day's low which has nothing to do with the 200 day but this day's low uh, is really telling us that the market has accelerated a little bit too much and that it's likely to reverse I say likely because we're going to want to wait to see whether or not the market does base here at the 200 day or continues to sell off which would be a bit of a surprise if we come back to the website, I mentioned the flow low that occurred uh, just recently in the S&P 500 and the days low. So I'm going to spend a little bit of time on this just to give you some perspective. Uh, when we take a look at the flow low, when we look at the performance, you come to uh, signals, deep dive analysis, and then the pro alert uh, performance. Take a look here at the S&P. It's good. It's got a nice profit factor, uh, but it's on the low end of some of the other markets and the way that it responds to the flow low, that along with the, uh, the Dow Jones. So that signal, you can always gauge whether or not a signal is super strong or relatively weak. It's still a good indicator because it's positive and it's above this one level, but relative to some of the other markets, it's on the, the lower two thirds as opposed to or the lower third, I should say, as opposed to some of the other markets that are actually out there. But if we take a look at the day's low, the one that triggered today in the S&P 500, that's the number two market here. It's very, very high. Uh, this is in part because the buy on dip type mentality associated with the S&P 500. You get these days low where the market has these huge sell-offs. I'll just come back to it, these huge sell-offs. 
mostly the most of the time people are going to be using that as a buying opportunity and so the days low versus the flow low those two indicators that recently triggered and I'll just show this to you here's this orange uh, uh, indicator right here that's the flow low that that occurred and you can see that we had a couple that have uh, triggered here uh, where a T rope and a day's low are triggering here with the the S&P 500 we're at that critical point let's see how things kind of play out where are the systems right now? Well, what took place today, so you can see right through here a couple of equity markets, uh, the Dow Jones, and we have three exit signals that occurred here in the, the S&P 500. Now they triggered relatively early, around uh, 2874, and because that actually triggered the way it was, uh, they weren't taking the brunt of uh, the sell-off. They were able to react even though a lot of our indicators were more bullish and, and uh, biased to the upside. They did react to the market the way it's supposed to. So where we stand right now is in the S&P 500 in particular, uh, we have an open position profit in part because we're hedged. We have one long system, one short system. We're officially flat the Russell, officially flat the uh, the Dow Jones, and obviously hedged here in the uh, in the S&P 500. So we're protected, and uh, we're just looking for some form of confirmation as to what the uh, the S&P is going to do by itself. Now the other thing I want to point out is that um, this is more of a promotional thing, but we really had a good day for it where we're starting to show some of the systems trade live during the course of the day. So we have this new live system stream and we're going to do it periodically. There's no schedule. It really just depends upon when we have the ability to actually do it. Uh, but you'll come to this particular page. Uh, you, you're going to click on this to actually access it when it is open to the public. If you clicked it now, uh, actually, it will be open because I'm going to show you how it's done. But on a normal case basis, uh, you're only going to click on this if we put something out on Twitter saying, hey, we're actually doing something. So we have uh, 10 featured systems, trend-based systems, momentum-based systems, and pattern-based systems. And then if you come down a little bit further, when you actually look at the screen when we're streaming live, there's some interpretation. So what we have here is a little bit of an, an overview as to what these arrows represent and the dash lines represent. And then towards the bottom here, we have examples of trend-based, what a momentum-based system looks like and a pattern-based system. But what you're going to get are these little signals that are going to pop up and then during the course of the day we'll watch and see how the actual systems trade. So just to show you what this looks like, it's actually open right now as I speak, but it will only be available when we do things periodically. But if you did do it, all you do is click on that button there and it's going to pop up this screen and the screen will then show what's going on with the uh, the actual trading. So what we had with this particular system is uh, we had a couple of systems that triggered and these are uh, ones that you can actually uh, get into and actually view on your screen if you have TradeStation. Uh, the red arrow represents where we got short the market and the white triangle represents where we actually liquidated the position. So on a single bar we entered and liquidated made our profit. Second case same kind of scenario. We entered, we exited on that same bar, we had a profit. Here's a trade where you can actually see it. We entered the trade, we were in the trade for a couple of bars, had a profit target, the little white uh, triangle represents what the the profitability was, for, or excuse me, where we actually liquidated the position. So we had three separate systems that uh, triggered here and what I'll do is uh, just simply very quickly show you what the, the profitability was for those particular trades. If I can pull this up here, uh, we had uh, 425 right through here, 425, 350, 350. Those are the three trades that trigger today. Now the previous day, a loss of 362, uh, a loss of 562, profit of 350, so it's not always going to be up, up and away. There's going to be losses that uh, come along the way, but at least it'll give you an idea as to what you're going to be looking at and uh, the way that you interpret the information. So if we come back to the uh, to the website here uh, and you look at the, this particular page, 
all you need to do is before you actually get into the uh, the live stream for the system just kind of familiarize yourself with some of these icons represent uh, you can sort of uh, take a look at these are stagnant these are not live systems down here they're just sample systems just to kind of show you what's uh, what's taking place but at least you'll understand and how to interpret what's taking place there's not gonna be a lot of market commentary once we once you click on this it's really us just uh, taking one of our computers popping up a system that is likely to generate a trade or is in a trade and likely to be close to, to liquidating a position so that there's some reason to watch it. Uh, it's not always the most exciting, I realize. It's like watching paint dry, but when you have as many systems as we have, there's always a lot of uh, action that's going on. But what we're going to do is we're just going to select a single market, a single system, and a single time frame and uh, be able to pop that up and we're going to try to select a system that we think uh, will have some action to it something that you can actually look at so today's action uh, was quite good with the the three trades that we actually uh, triggered today and uh, these are our systems that are either a available to you through TradeStation where you can have that on your screens and you can actively have a trade for you or you can watch it and trade uh, you know when you see things trigger or they're going to be systems that are going to be made available on the website and gives you an idea as to what's taking place. So long story short, S&P huge sell-off. The systems reacted well in being able to unwind uh, some of our long positions uh, earlier on in the day. Not perfectly, but they did liquidate. Uh, we're now hedged that particular position. Uh, we had another system which we just showed here with the uh, the live stream uh, that uh, did well in its trading during the course of the day. We've come down to the 200 day moving average with the systems basically hedged right now. We're just kind of in a wait and see uh, type mode. We want to see as we're out there's going to be continued follow through tomorrow or most likely based upon what I showed you with the day's low indicator that there's a likely to be some type of a bounce. It'll be a wild consolidation as we build things out. And once we get into that little consolidation as, as volatile as it may be, uh, that will dictate whether or not the market's going to go up to new highs or if we're going to meander around like we did after the last big sell-off that occurred earlier in the year and another one that occurred um, uh, mid-year around April or so. We'll see how things kind of play out here, but for right now we're hedged and we'll try to show some more systems through this live stream. I got some very good uh, feedback from that and that's what kind of prompted us to, to go through this reader process. When we show these things, we'll put something up on Twitter and uh, that will let you know that we're going to be talking about a particular market. And if uh, you don't have Twitter, uh, you can uh, simply come to, uh, uh, where is it? Uh, signals and Market Commentary and uh, you can come to that particular page during the course of the day and you'll be able to to see all the things that we uh, post on our Twitter account with the links that go directly to the site and then what we'll do is we'll um, uh, have a link here as I have right here that uh, we're going to uh, talk about a particular market and put yourself in a position you can actually see a system trade for those of you that don't trade systematically it's a good way to at least get a feel for uh, real-time action what's really taking place and watching the system do its job monitor the market react when the conditions are right go long go short go flat and from that standpoint I think it's always good for people to actually see what actually does take place so just watch the Twitter feed for when we're gonna actually do those types of things go uh, go live and uh, from that standpoint, we will take a look at another market tomorrow. Thanks very much. Bye-bye.